Okay, just before you watch this video, this is a quick appeal to, to asking you to contribute towards raising funds for the Great Western Air Ambulance. You might already know that I'm shaving this beard, this monstrous beard and the hair off on July the 4th in aid of, of the Great Western Air Ambulance. If you enjoy watching my videos, please consider donating something towards my Just Giving page. Um, the link is below in the description. Here's also a flashcard showing you where you can go to to uh, donate some money. We can all contribute to um, making the world a better place and during lockdown there's been a lot of tragedy. We can make some good out of this so please consider giving some money. In the meantime even if you can't afford it in, and don't want to donate enjoy the videos that I do. Keep going. Cheers all. Okay, so the other day you saw me emptying this shed out. Ooh, this shed out with Harry using Farmer P's yellow trailer and the McCormick's. Um, today I've got one more load out to take down with me. I've got Jack with me. What we're going to do, we're going to go down, we're going to go and take it uh, where I dumped the rest of the muck the other day. Um, but we're also going to go and look at the young heifers that are in the field next to it and we're going to move them into a fresh bit of grass. Jack will then have a look at them. He's pretty good on his cattle, actually, to be fair. He knows all the numbers of the cows much better than me. So Jack's going to have a look. We're going to have a look at them. Jack's going to tell us a few bits about them now, actually, aren't you? We've got to see our favourite cows down there right now with them. What number is that? 280. 280. And we've got a heifer that's due in about six days' time. And we've got a dry cow that's due in five days' time along the road still. Mm. And we've got two cows that are due in the next couple of days. Mm. So Jack knows all the dates of when the cows are due, but we're going to go and have a look at this bunch of heifers and just move them. So we'll head on down now, jump on the tractor, and let's crack on. Do you want me to see me out? I think I can reverse the trailer now. Mm. Ah. Right. So you drive a trailer and tractor. Up you get. Even I've got a feeling stuff. that when you start driving, you're going to crash more than me. No, because you've crashed about a million times. Is that right? And you're 70 years old. Um, and you're too cheeky. Right, let's go. <coughs> See if I can reverse this out then, Jack. Do you want to film me reversing out? <coughs> you think I can't reverse this out? Excuse me, but you're just not good at any other stuff. Go on then, out you go, off you go. Well, I thought you might reverse me out. Right. You see this, yeah? It's called a bot at a So bad. You can see how bad this is. Easy. Look at this. Too close. We'll come around here again. You see how bad it is? It's so bad, that's the thing. Look at it, it's going to hit the side. Look how close that is. That, that's how bad it is. It's so bad, man. Look at that, it's just awful driving. Awful. Awful. Look how mucky the tractor is as well. It's also a mess he made with the tractor. Look, he's still struggling. He's feeling awkward because he's on camera, so he's trying to show off. But he actually can't because he's so bad. It's so bad, man. Got such a bad lad in the town. This guy was so bad at driving. Do you see the abuse I get off my kids now? They're, they're all giving me chip here. They're all telling me they can do better than me. Yeah, because you're so bad. I don't know, Harry was telling me that the other day and now I've got Jack telling me I'm, I'm rubbish. Hey, isn't my fault that you're bad at driving? Right, I anyway. Can, I can drive a goo cart better than you. I'm ignoring the abuse I'm getting from my children because pretty soon I'm going to be judging Jack on his driving when he starts driving next year. Two years. Two years. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, we'll see. We'll, we'll have a look down the fields. There we go. What was that noise? 
Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Horsey, horsey. Have a big plot? Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's go and find them first. Hunt the heifers, the there they are. Do you want to call them while I um, sort the gates out? Okay, so we're going to let the heifers into the field where we mowed for hay and the boys bought me a picnic. Do you remember that? I'll put a little clip of me out here. There you go. Apparently it's a relay. Right. Jack's just calling. And they've got the grass quite tight where they are, but I think there's plenty of grass here. In fact, it's probably a little bit too good for them. I sort of, well, I left a strip around the edge, you see. I probably should have bailed that or mown that when I did the main cut, but I left that because I didn't know when we were going to let them in here. Let's have a look. It's had no fertilizer since, but it's grown up. Oh, they'll love this. There's a massive bite here. Well, actually, it's not a massive bite here. Look, you can still see it brown in the middle but so it is quite thin but they the amount of heifers out here they'll love this um especially where they are it's a bit stale let's have a look so jack's just calling the heifers while while i uh was opening that gate uh he's quite interesting really i mean we have plenty of banter me and the boys and you probably see gives me a bit of jip on the video but do you know what i am this lockdown's been really good for jack i think because he, he's been really, he has been really good going out with the cattle and stuff. Uh, he goes and checks them for me. He's really keen. His number, his ability to remember the numbers on the cattle is amazing, actually. He, he knows the cows better than me now, I think. Don't tell him that. Uh, and he's he's definitely got the ability to, uh, he, he cares about the cows. It's quite interesting to see. I don't care what he does for the rest of his life, you know. He can carry on, mate, and be a... I don't know, bank clerk or whatever you want to be, but at least, you know, he's got a, he's got a good thing, you know, learnt a lot, I think, in this lockdown, really. Right, anyway, I'm just going to see how we're going out here. Come on, Ed. Come on. Come on. Oh, they're coming. Look at them. Come on. Go on. See, they got it pretty bare out here. I deliberately got them to graze that bear because I wanted to get rid of the yellow rattle. I'm going to have to check that at some point. Go on, Jack. Bring them on. They like you, don't they? Hi ho, hi ho. Bring them on, bring them on, bring them on. Two eight five. Is that the? Oh, no, that's a super friendly one. No, it's not. Friendly. Oh, two eight five. Two eight five. He's one of the younger ones, but she's yeah. a leader. Of it's me. two eight five, isn't it? Ah. Ah. Two eighty. All oh, right. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. Come on in. Come on in. Right. There's the muck pile. Yeah, it's not bad. Come on in. Once they know where they're going, I reckon they'll leg it. Come on. Are you going to run? Go on. Once they know you're in there, they'll definitely run. Come on. Fresh yummy grass. Here we go, look at this, it's stampede. They're going to love this. Look at this. Hello. Don't run me over. Wow, I think they've fed up with what they were having before. Oh, we should have counted them, really. How many are supposed to be down here? 31 or 30. 30, I think it is. Where's the one that's due to calf? There she comes, that's her there. Nom, 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 nom. Well, make sure we got them all, we don't leave any behind. Hmm. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. Is that all of them? 
There's the Angus, we're going to be selling that one soon. Once we've had Here's the one that's due not far off. She hasn't got much of an adder on her yet. She'll be carving in about a week, I think. First calf. Look at this, they're really loving this, aren't you? Hello. Crikey, chomp, chomp, chomp. I think they're starving. That old stale grass, isn't, this is like having the finest meal after you've eaten some stale old bread because I was trying deliberately holding them tight in that field so that they wouldn't uh, leave anything and what that yellow rattle which I've got a problem with to go right so I'm going to carry on with the muck tipping and muck mucking out um, I'm going to just shut these in here for now there's no water in here so I can't shut them in here too long but um, but yeah, so I'm going to shut them in here, leave them in here while we carry on doing doing the mucking out. Ah, oh, that's your job. Hey, can you count them for me? Look at that. Oh, oh, I got one nine three is more bagged up than one seven one, isn't she? Mm -hmm. There we go. Look, you can see her there. The little. When we say yeah, bagged up, we mean the others starting to fill out. They're a bit bigger than. They fill out before one they one carve. A bit bigger than not one nine three. One nine three isn't due till twenty first of July. What date is she due? 21st of July. 21st of July, so you've remembered your dates. They're all looking good, aren't they? Quite pleased how they've all turned out. They're quite, they're, they're quite healthy. None of them are skinny or anything. Yeah, they're all looking good. Yeah, they're all looking And that not be. They're all here. Thirty. They're all here. It's hard to count cattle when they're all together. Two eighty. Hmm. Two eighty. Your favourite. They're all here. You carry on. I'm going to go and tip this mug. All right. They're all there. It's hard to count cattle in a bunch, actually. It's, that's probably the easiest place to count them when they're just putting their heads down. If you get them in a field and they're all in a bunch, you kind of... I find it, anyway, really hard to sort of count them all because they move around. So ideally you want them on something like a, a new bit of grass where they're putting their heads down. Or you need to stand above them on a gate or um, tractor... tractor bo well, Lambo bonnet actually is pretty good. Uh, in the Oscar and a deer bonnet maybe one day, hopefully. Uh, and um, yeah, just get above them to count them really. But the, the, all, all the other things do is when you're moving them is when you open the when you let the gate through. Um, oh, so I'm just I'm just untying that so I can shut this gate to get the tractor through. When you uh, when you let them to a fresh field, I quite often have the gate only open a little bit so that they they can't rush through to get through. They can't rush through the gate all in one group, so they have to go through sort of twos or ones and twos. So if you do it like that, they can't, um, let's just shut that. They can't uh, go through all at one bunch. Uh, but your biggest scary thing is when you're counting cattle and one's missing. Uh, but invariably, it's either one's missing because one's ill, which is always a worry, if one's missing, or I find generally find that the whole lot go missing because they've, if they get out, they don't tend to go in ones. What happens is one goes and then the rest follow. So that's my take on it. Quite often if one's missing, you've got a sick one or a lame one somewhere hanging back. Uh, but if they're all, otherwise they're all missing. Um, <laughs> but then who knows? There's no rules with animals. Right, let's tip this. Here's a wild animal tipping some manure. Just open it up. Are you giving 
commentary? Yeah. Is it abusive commentary for your dad? Uh. Mm, for me. What do you say? I don't know. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Look how flat that is. It's a lot in there. That's my pal. And here it comes. Timber, shall we say. That's where the fumes coming off. Of. Is that got a fire in it? That's all the microbes going to work breaking it down. Hmm. I'll get that one out. Come on. It's so bad. Hmm. Let's try pushing. Come on, it's so bad, dude. Come on. Don't pull out. There you go. See, just easy. Easy! But he's just too weak, you know. Too weak. Wait, let's go. Too Come in. weak, too weak, too weak, too I just said to Jack, are you not going to put that bit in there? Because he's giving me jip, jip. But then, that wouldn't be fair. So anyway, he's in there. So you're basically saying I'm too weak, am I? Yeah. Are you? Let me see your muscles. Are you the muscles from they're, Brussels? They're bigger than those I'm the king of the world! Ah. You're the king of the small biceps. Okay. I'm getting slightly worried I might have to challenge Jack to an arm wrestle at some point. I'm, I'm slightly... Do you want to do an I'm arm wrestle, Jack? I'm slightly uh, happy that I know I'm going to beat you. Do you want to do an arm wrestle? Embarrassing. Lunchtime. Oops. Lunchtime needs to work. We might save that for another day. Come at me, just gonna get beat up. Alright, we're gonna go. We'll see you later. See you soon. Our wrestle challenge. You know the champion, you know.